to take a lesson real quick on how to make stars. Now, I've already opened up a couple windows, but let's show you a couple things that we're going to need. We need to open up a couple paint windows. I've already got my shortcut here on my quick launch bar, but for you guys, you're going to have to go down here to Programs, Accessories, and then Paint. You're going to want to open at least one paint window for doing other work as well, but also you want to go up here to your calculator because we're going to do some math today. Now part of doing what we're doing is all about the math. When you make a star, it's based upon a uh, simple mathematical equation of one-thirds. In order to make the star work, you, you have to cut it up into thirds so you can connect all the dots. So it's not really a difficult thing to do, so let's get started here. First thing you want to do is you want to open up your paint window. You want to click on your image, change your attributes to 300 by 300. This is going to give us a square canvas to work with, and it's an easier number and, and gives us the ability to quickly work with the shapes that we have. Now you'll notice some dots here. I'm going to walk through real, real quickly and show you the math. Now, in order to figure out what we're doing as far as the math goes, let me cut this window down just a little bit here. In order to figure out the math, what we're doing here is we have to figure out the center points. Now the center point for the top of your star is going to be the center point here at the top which is marked by a little black dot on your canvas. A little black dot, you can put a you can put a color coding there or a little dot from your from your paintbrush. And then what we have to do is we have to do the math to figure out the rest of them. Now, we're also going to create a pentagon here, but let's go ahead and just proceed here and then you'll see the pentagon take shape as we get done. Okay. Now, once you find the top, you need to go down to the bottom and you need to subtract one-third from the center and then add one-third from the center to get the bottom of your star. Okay, so if you take the center, which is at 150, and you subtract the one-third, which, let's go ahead and take 150, multiply it by 0.33, oops, take 150, multiply it times 0.33 and you come up with 50. Okay, so 50 would be right here, give or take, and then you want to go 150 plus 99 or 100, whichever floats your boat is close enough, you come up with 250. And here we have our second dot. Okay? So now we've got the center top and both bottom feet on your star. Now, here's the tricky part is you have to come down one third, which is 100. Now once you do this, on both sides, you now have the outline or the dot to dot to create your star. From here, all, is, all you have to do is, in this case, let's go ahead and just change the color to black. Change to our straight line color. Let's go with a fairly wide line so that we can use this either to enlarge it or decrease the size. The wider you make this line, the easier it is for you to shrink it down or to enlarge it without it disappearing or, or pixelating on you. So if we start here, you just quickly drag your dots from your starting points and work your way from each point down here to your thirds. And voila, we now have a star. Now you'll also notice we've got the perfectly formed star. And if you want to continue on to create your, your pentagon, all you have to do is, because you've already practiced using your tools, background is white. I can now just right click here, 
drag it up across click it here drag it across click it right here drag it across click it here drag it across and then click it down here drag it across and we have a star now we have a pentagon now let's finish this up real quick all we have to do from this point we've already created a star you can either clear out the middle by removing the lines on the inside or by removing the lines on the outside here you can create a pentagon now all you have to do is click your paint can right click on each one of these dots or these extensions on the heart and now you've got that click on your edit click select all right click flip and rotate rotate vertical and we now have a perfect pentagon as well anyway thank you for watching please tune in for more videos if you have any comments or questions please direct them to me uh, send me an email at how do i do this zero one thank you very much for watching and i hope that uh, this will help you build your confidence in doing uh, doing the painting and uh, learning how to make shapes as well as getting more comfortable with your tools please remember these lessons are for learning windows they're not for teaching you how to be an artist i'm just showing you how the tools that you have on your computer can really help you out to do these things anyway thanks again for watching and have a great day